So, you guys, this is uh, Jenny versus Fiddy Beauty. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. It was so delicious. I was able to get the uh, live chat. So, these girls were going back and forth, swinging mud, and I was living. I was in heaven. I was living. I'm not going to lie. It was great, but this is what happened. I mind my. I was minding my business, right? I didn't come after her. And then, you know, people looking for clout. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. No, he hasn't made a snowman. No, he's has no snow. I think Syria, some parts of Syria had snow, no? I don't know, maybe not. Yes, that's the thing. The irony, the irony. It's the irony. <clears throat> Are you allowed to lie? Are you allowed to F off? Yes, goodbye. Corvus, say Shani, get in a dirty litter box and sit and spin. <laughs> I'm a bad influence on you guys. Thank you, Corvus. And yo mama, I heard um, Jay Leno with the big ugly feet say, suggesting Salah because of the goats and, and sexually abusing Julia. Like, bitch, you're lucky I don't get you for friggin' slander. You're lucky. Are you serious? At least, oh, you, know, you want to talk sexual deviance, Jay Leno? Excuse me? Who took a picture in their daughter's under, underage daughter's room to send to uh, Isaac? Hmm? Sexualizing your daughter's room. You know, I didn't say that blue pot that I didn't know she was going to go into heat. I said I didn't know when. Hey, Robin. Yeah, Leno. Boozing. Suggesting that uh, she's afraid for Julia. Because uh, Salah might sexually abuse Julia. Like, have these people fucking lost their minds? Like, what the F is wrong with these idiots? And they have a platform. And I swear to God, your mama is like one of our biggest trolls. But she is too stupid to realize it. Because she needs alliances. Like, dude, she's one of your biggest trolls. On a second point, Chantal, you're one to talk about who should and should not have a platform, ma'am. You sexualized a minor on live stream on a muggle. We saw that. That's how you lost your, your channel. Have a little bit of self-awareness when you open your mouth. Have a little bit of self-awareness. You also sexualize an actual minor on live stream. Remember why you lost your channel? Let's remember that. I know, Becca. Like, I can't. These people are trash. <sighs> Calling someone a goat fucker isn't slander, but it's rude. Insinuating we sexually he sexually abuses uh, animals? Yeah, it is. Because it's not true. Yeah, it is. Stupid. Anyway. And this person, again, has a young child she has to care for. And she's out here accusing people of sexually abusing animals. Okay. Idiots. I'd be so embarrassed. So embarrassed. Yeah, Robin, we are. She's pathetic, Fufu Egg. That sounds racist, too. It is a racist term, actually, yeah. See, when somebody put that in the chat, I was waiting for her to read that and start going as it's Islamophobic route. No, ma'am, it's not. It is general generalizing. It's not Islamophobia, because as you are aware, there are parts of the Middle East where that happen quite frequently between the animals and uh, <clears throat> the individuals. But I would not say that happens everywhere. It's not Islamophobia. It's just 
ignorant in general generalizing a culture it's not islamophobia i'm sorry try again try a different tactic she was saying muslim men f goats oh, she's a race racist bitch that's why and she hopes i choke on a donut i hope you choke on your chia seeds Trash and champagne always makes the same. She has a horse face. She looks like Paul Stanley with the most horrible effing eyebrows I've ever seen in makeup job. And she, she watches me like this. She has a bigger underbite than Buster. Ugh, just, ugh. Why the fuck are you watching me? Like, go watch Jersey Shore, bitch. Oh, I hate these people. If they were in front of me, I swear I, I, swear I would catch a charge. I'm so <laughs> sorry. And again, no offense, Chantal. There is no way you're beating up anybody with those T-Rex arms, ma'am. That's not happening. That is not happening. And all somebody has to do is run a circle around you and you'll be winded by just turning around. That is so not happening. You make me laugh when you make these kind of statements. I enjoy it. Keep it up. Sorry. It's so satisfying saying the B word. It's so... Paul Stanley from KISS. Go look up Paul Stanley from KISS. She has the same fried hair. <laughs> Sorry, teardrop. Sorry if any of you here think I'm a nice person. Tonight I'm not. I know, mercy me. In a good mood. La la la. <sighs> Velcro on their boots? What? Literally, we're literally looking at goats in the desert, saying they're cute, and she, what she gets from that is, she wants to F a goat. Why? Because he's Middle Eastern? You friggin' racist pig. Jay Leno looking ass, friggin' uh, fugly toe, friggin' sexual deviant, taking pictures in your daughter's room, Arby's roast beef sandwich, Isaac be our guest wanting to F loser. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so what's new? I need emotional support cheese sticks right now. I will freak out if anyone denies me the ability to have cheese sticks. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Marilla. That was the longest. It's... The morality policed. What? No. There's no. It's not friggin' Iran. I love that you did this to Shani. I can't stop. Did you music copyright strike trash and champagne with your record label? <laughs> My record label. What? I love Arby's roast beef. Yeah. Hey, Brooke. Cheesecake Factory. Actually, I'm allowed to, you know what? She's racist against Muslims, against uh, Middle Eastern people. So they would probably applaud me for reaming out this weirdo all the way in the USA. <sighs> I wasn't friends with her. I was friendly to her. You know, I just try to keep the peace, but I, I really probably shouldn't have. I always wondered that, like... I still don't know like the full details. All I know is that like Rev went to jail for like abusing her kid. And then I saw some videos about how disgusting his room was. Like, I don't know. He had like a, like, I don't know. And then she has the nerve. Hey, SYL. For those who were not around during Brackhead Olympics, Chantal is a liar here. She knew about the child abuse allegations during the Brackhead Olympics. She even defended Shani. You want to know why she defended her? Because Shani used to come in in a chat and dropping $100 super chat. Super chats. And she defended her. She did not care. She just wanted the money. So for her to sit here like, oh, I didn't know. She's a liar. She's another liar. She's a liar like Shani. She knew about the whole Shani situation. Now she's going to play stupid.
She has the nerve to talk about my pet care? Like anyone's going to go to her for, listen, Shani, just fucking retire. Nobody's going to look to you for a beacon of light, okay? No one's going to come to you for moral advice on what to do. You, you, nobody cares. Like, no, they blew 750k, yo mama. It's Nikocado. <laughs> you know? Oh, Christina with the 80s bangs. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? What the fuck? Get out of here. Are you Muslim? She just called you the C word. Ooh. Oh. Good. I'm glad. Like, what an idiot. You come for me and I come for you back and then you cry? You're an idiot. <laughs> She's insane. <sighs> Mentioning her kids set her off. Didn't he like like they she ab like they were abused on camera. Like whenever they were driving to uh wherever they were cuz they got kicked out of Colorado or cuz they blew all the money they couldn't afford the rent. They were they the children were screamed at and like called names like verbally abused. Don't put it on the internet then, right? Can you share sure, Stephanie? I know Chantal. How you blow seven hundred and fifty k and broke? I mean, I'm not. I wasn't the best with money, but yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, foo foo. Hey, welcome to Lam, babe. I'm in a bad mood right now, babe. Sorry. Swall hates the drama. He doesn't like me to engage in it. That's also a lie. Salad Boy also likes the YouTube dramas. He involves himself in it. Another lie. We've seen him. Stuff that he says about people in your chat, Chantal. He enjoys the drama to himself. Stop lying. I was minding my business, Grape Swaddle. That's why. I don't. I never mention them. Do I ever talk about them? No. I don't talk about Rev and Shani. Ever. Yeah, just let her pop off. But you guys were right about that. I will. I will take the the um, the L. I sh I shouldn't have associated with people who abuse autistic children. You're right. Shouldn't have even been nice to them. But I don't know. It's like I don't know what to say. They like paid for like a message on my cameo and I don't know. Should have just blocked. I guess I don't know. It's just mine and my beeswax. I don't know. But anyway. Even her mods are telling her to shut up. <laughs> Broke in my house! So apparently this is the post that Shani did that set off this whole entire thing. And trick a warning for you guys who are head headphone wars. Turn on the volume or take them out because Shani is not holding back. She is going to be screaming. When I was over state lines, I told you they ransacked in my house. And what the proof is that in my previous cooking videos where everything was fucking spotless. Fucking assholes. Why am I yelling? Because I'm PMSing and I'm pissed. That people always have to start shit with me when I do shit to them. And it's a refresher. Shen is lying. When they left Colorado, that apartment, like, they must as well have torn down the whole entire building because it was that disgusting. It was not clean. It was absolutely disgusting. She's going to keep on continuing lying and lying about the whole situation. So I'm not going to keep on top stopping and interrupting her. But what she's about ready to say about her kids in the apartment, just know that 
she's a straight up liar. We all saw it. Nobody won there and trashed it. They did that themselves. From all those years they lived there, they did that themselves. I don't give a shit what people say about me being a mother. What I give a shit about. And possibly godless, you can go away with your fake ass. You know I don't like you. Why do you even come in here? My sons did not piss on mattresses. I did not lose my kids due to bad parenting or neglect. I gave them to be taken care of. I inserted myself into this. Oh, by making a post about female cats being spayed and neutered? That's me fucking involving myself in her? What the fuck are you talking about? My mom's an abusive fucking bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? She lied about everything. What motherfucking goes on the internet and talks shit about her child? No good mother does that. Being poor is not neglect. No, it's not. No, hussy, you're not blocked. I'm gonna try to calm down now. I said what I needed to say. I wasn't talking about Chantal. I was talking about a topic of how dangerous it is dangerous it is for your cat if you don't spade them No, I didn't eat food before my kids. What mother would do that? They only say that because I'm fat. Uh, no, Shani. That is true. You, we saw videos of you while you were live streaming of your kids begging you for food because you and Jason were holding all the food in your bedroom that they had to come to you and beg you for food. We saw it all. Stop trying to rewrite the script, homie. No, I didn't. You're missing my words, what I said. Get the hell off my channel. But nah, man, let's start a fight. What do you mean insure is not good for me? What the fuck are you talking about? Insure isn't good for me. It's a meal supplement when you can't eat. It's full of vitamins. You know how much, and you could go and say, the sugars, the sugars. Do you know per meal? You're supposed to have 30 to 40 um, uh, grams of carbs. 30 to 40. Guess what? This Insure bottle only has 19 grams. So it ain't going to spike my freaking blood sugars. You don't know what you are talking about.
Exactly, Lacey. Exactly. All right. You go on your channel talking shit about me when I said nothing about you. So when we got to this section, I was like, I was living, you guys. I was like, oh my god, Shani is coach switching her accents. I've never heard this one before. I was living for it. I was like, where did this come from? It was fantastic. Trust me, honey. It's not a good look when all I'm doing is state and science and you get all pissy about it. Okay? You don't like how you look. You don't like how you feel. A lot of people come to you and try to help you, give you advice, and you turn around and call it hate, get pissy on them, and treat them like they didn't even do anything for you. First of all, Chantel, I've done a lot for you. I've given you a lot of fucking money before, and you've given me nothing! You don't give people nothing when they're struggling Chantel you give people nothing you know not what charity is damn it I hated it that Shane was right on this one she's absolutely correct but kind of Chantel does give but she only gives to let me see the opposite sex if she thinks she can buy them into being with her. So I guess that's technically charity. Even though that shit never really works out in her favor in the end. But technically I guess she does give. You know? It's just not to the people that you think she should be given to. That's all. I've supported you over the years. Regardless of the shit you've tried to say about me, I've supported you. But I am not going to enable you over your fucking bullshit. I'm not an enabler. You can call this hate all you want, but I'm not an enabler. Yes, I'm on Ozempic. I'm not an enabler. I'm not an enabler. Do you know, Chantel, you could disagree with someone and still be their fucking friend? Did you know someone could say opposite facts that you're trying to pull? and still be your friend maybe maybe i was just trying to educate you on something maybe i was sick of seeing bullshit fucking people saying it's okay not to spay your cat maybe it's that when i know how fucking danger it is for a cat maybe it's that You're never going to change, Chantel. That's one thing the Hater Channel's got on you. Is you're never going to change. You you do do this cycle of, oh, I'm going to lose weight. La, 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 la. You're on it for two days. Then fast food hole. Snack hole. And then it goes back to the, I'm not going to do any weight loss content anymore. Damn it, I hate it when Shani's right, but she is right. She got her cycle down packed like the rest of us. That's pretty much how the Chantal cycle goes. Dang it, must agree with her. Okay, what I said is supported by science. 
What you did was a personal dig due to your fucking ignorance because you don't like being told the truth. Instead, you want to fucking lie about it. She was too old to get spayed. Liar. Liar. Talk shit about me, bitch. I'll make my whole channel about you if you want me to. I'll be worse than FFG if you want me to. So keep talking your shit. I'll analyze the shit out of your videos and I'll say everything you're doing fucking wrong. Would you want that? Since you want to start shit with me? When all I'm doing is just trying to educate people on a topic that has nothing to do with you. It was a topic that bothered me. Not you, the topic. Too much misinformation going out there. You don't want to spay your cat? Fine. Then you're going to have to watch your cat die of cancer. Because you decided to be neglectful of your pet and let her suffer. Bitch. Peace and Maranatha. Fuck Chantal. Fuck her. life can you not play barbies with your child like are you adverse to isn't that another one who didn't even have full custody because she was a friggin drunk alcoholic loser yeah the nerve of these people i miss sam i know i still get updates from them i did post a few on my community tab and um it was a foster foster family who were fostering him but you know they ended up keeping him but the last time i was supposed to go back to canada and move they said i could have him back but now they're keeping him again so who knows maybe someday i can get him i don't know but i'd hate to do that to him if he's really settled in with the family you know so Hey, I did everything correct. They are sick in the head. Sick, 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 sick. Yeah, they send me updates. He is happy. He's very happy. People he's with are very kind and nice. Yes. Yeah, Angela. Howie's toast. Oh my gosh, absurdity. Yeah, no thanks. I believe Sam with a new family. <laughs> Imagine I went to visit him and he remembered me, though. Good boy. I don't think he does, but... You never know. I don't know. It's hard to know what they feel, you know? All they say is meow. What can we know? <laughs> uh. Autumn, how about you mind your business? She did worse than that. She was happy with Beezer's getting dogs by that time and punched her poor old grandpa. Got <laughs> fired from his job. Yeah, she's a piece of shit. A weird Jay Leno... Bert and Ernie looking friggin' freaky weirdo who takes pictures in her ninth and 10th degree. <sighs> takes pictures in her daughter's room. No, you'll never live that down. It's so weird. You have the nerve to, to insinuate based on nothing about goats and Julia being essay. Like, you're a, who even thinks that way? 
Yeah, Nikki, it is. <coughs> FF Gun thinks you're in love with her. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder what it is. The gullet neck? The, the, the raspy Du Maurier voice like Selma and Patty? Or maybe it's the, the um, Jackie Gleason head. Or maybe, I don't know, what else could it be that would make me so attracted? The frog legs, the egg body, the frog neck? I don't think so. Yeah, Kiki. I know, I love my Beezers. Look. Look. No. Not if she was the last creature on the planet. I'm sorry. It's true. What happened with you and Shani? She made a community post saying that I was like, went on a big sanctimonious, self-righteous rant about my pet care when she doesn't even have her kids. She lost her kids for neglect and she has the nerve to talk about my pet, pet being neglected? That's a mind in the sewer. Yes. Exactly, Becca. It's amazing how Breezy skips and fast forwards when Foodie speaks on her that her zombies don't like, don't hear those parts. She's pathetic. She's a coward. She's a coward. Autumn, get out of here, you friggin' weirdo. Like, you're. Do you not feel embarrassed being that, like, detail involved in fucking Julia's vaccines and being fixed? She said Julia's gonna get cancer because. Yeah, and your kids are gonna have a lifetime of trauma because of you, you big friggin' saggy titted weirdo. Your boyfriend bruised your ch autistic child's ribs and you still you chose him over them. Real nice. She's not going to get cancer, you stupid idiot. <clears throat> no, it isn't very Muslim. Are you Muslim? Are you perfect? So shut up. Actually, I need... Yes, thank you. Block. People act just because you believe in God that you, uh, you know, you don't defend yourself, you never get mad, you never fuck up, you never sin, get a life. All these people are stupid and not religious even. Like, <laughs> you know. She faked cancer for food. Yeah, you faked breast cancer. That's another thing. You faked breast cancer. Speaking of cancer, you're just a stand-up person. My point is, you're a piece of crap. Who lost your kids you have no right to make a big sanctimonious rant about my pets okay so eat a big pile of crap on your ebt card <sighs> actually my blood pressure was fine cb at the doctor the only thing that was normal surprisingly she's clout chasing i know <clears throat> yeah, she did. She's like, I have cancer. <laughs> Don't even care if she exists in life. Yeah, true. Anyways, all trash. So if you guys want to see this slap fight, you can go to either by the channels to see it. With Shani was pretty much responding to Foodie. With Foodie, some people came into a chat to let her know that Shani was talking about her and she wasn't happy about that. And that's when the back and forth went. I don't know how long she kept it up. But when I left Foodie's uh, live stream, you know how she does it. She was starting to lose the steam in the whole raging against uh, Shani, so I got bored and I left. But if you want to see the whole thing, go to the channels and watch it there.